Greek authorities are looking for dozens of people missing after the deadly wildfires near Athens. The local mayor says at least 77 people have died. A search for survivors who fled the blaze, including those who took to the sea, continues. High winds spread the fire, trapping many in homes and vehicles and forcing others into the sea as they tried to escape the flames. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras has declared three days of mourning. One father, Yanis Philippopoulos, told Greek television his nine-year-old twin girls were still missing. He said he saw his daughters, Sophia and Vasiliki, alive on TV news footage as they got off a fishing boat which had rescued them. He has not heard from them, or their grandparents, who had been with them earlier that day. There is no formal count of the missing. The fire brigade has received dozens of calls and has been unable to verify the exact number. Relatives of those reported missing have posted photographs of more than 30 people online in the hope of tracing their whereabouts. The mayor of Rafina, Evangelis Bornus, told the BBC on Tuesday that the dead could exceed 100. Coastal patrol boats combed the shoreline, searching for survivors and bodies, while rescue teams searched houses and cars. Tourists were also caught up in the blaze, including one British man who was treated for burns. Others have been evacuated to temporary accommodation. On Tuesday, the bodies of 26 adults and children who apparently died embracing each other were found on a cliff top. They had tried to find an escape route but unfortunately these people and their kids didn't make it in time. Instinctively, seeing the end nearing, they embraced, Nikos Ekonomopoulos, head of Greece's Red Cross, said. On Monday night, hundreds of firefighters battled the flames, which were fanned by winds of up to 100 km per hour. 60 miles per hour. Prime Minister Tsipras has declared a state of emergency in Attica, saying all emergency services have been mobilized. Italy, Germany, Poland and France have all sent help in the form of planes, vehicles and firefighters, while Spain and Cyprus have also offered assistance.